Well, Ian, first day back of pre season, exciting day. Uh, what's in store for the Bulls tonight, boys? Yeah, um, always exciting to get back for pre season. Um, we've got a day of testing, um, as every year, we've got um, some measurements to take for the boys. So, uh, we'll do some body fat testing, some basic strength and power testing um, before doing the dreaded fitness testing. In terms of the weather, very warm first day back. Does that influence how you go about things today? Uh, it's not too bad at the moment. It's, uh, it's meant, I think it's meant to heat up in a week, but um, that should be right as long as we've got the, you know, the water there and the ice bars ready. Should be fine. In terms of pre what is, what is the, the aim, I guess, in the short term, the next few days, and over the, over the next month? Well, um, over the next few days, particularly, we've got, um, we're trying to bring together the programme the lads have been doing over the off season, so bringing together their their individual plans from the summer to, to pre-season schedule so we're just kind of looking to increase the, the lads intensity of their training, making it more sports specific so for more football movements and uh, yeah, just trying to increase their overall intensity really. So plenty of running, not many not many balls to be seen today. So no, there'll, there'll be, there'll be loads, of, loads of ball work so um, I mean over the course of the week there'll be a bit of ball work today this afternoon as well. We'll try and get the balls out as, as early as we can. Uh, especially with such a long, long break it's important to get a, a touch back as, as quickly as possible. In terms of rest days, uh, I understand it's, uh, it's pretty flat out for the next few days. Yeah, it's, it's pretty full on. I mean, we've, got a, we've got a game coming up pretty early on, so we need the boys to be pretty ready, but we'll, you know, we'll make sure that they're pretty stretched during the place and they'll be quickly ready to go for, for the Tuesday game. Well, Gaffer, your fourth pre-season at Cheltenham Town. How excited are you by the lads coming back in and uh, these first few weeks? My 30th season in all pre-season, um, so I think I'm pretty used to watching and uh, taking on board what I've seen. And the fourth one here, it's, it's it's the same really. You're just looking for the players that you're identif you've identified in the summer and before. You want them to come back off their holidays pretty fit, and that's what we asked them to do. We gave them a program, and thank God they've earned their first little test and uh, they've all come come through that so I'm, I'm, it's always pleasing when you know that they've worked the program albeit when they was on their holidays and uh, and have come back and yeah we, we look like we've got a, a fit group as you've seen yourself. How important is it for the boys to hit the floor running these first few days because there's a game within the first week so there's no time to kind of get up to speed you've got to hit the floor running and really get going. Well that's why we asked them to do a bit of work while they were away that's why we're happy that they're, you know, they, they look like they've already had a week with us, if you like, and although it's their first day, so we're probably a week ahead looking at them, which is good, so we've gained that little bit. Um, in my day, when I played, you, you hardly ever saw a ball for four or five weeks, you know what I mean, whereas things are different now, and, and people do come back off their holidays fitter. So we're going to do a little bit of ball work this afternoon, just to give me a little feel of the ball, but uh, this morning's about... It's all about running, and uh, you know they, they always get nervous. You saw the nervousness around before we started, um, and there's always a first and a last. No one wants to be last on the first day, so uh, it's, 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 it's working out well. And you have got to hit the ground running because uh, you just want to be ahead of the game. You, you, you don't know until sort maybe a couple of weeks before when you start playing your first team, what you feel is your first team for 90 minutes. Um, that's when you, you know whether you've you know, got, got the right group, whether you've got the right athleticism, whether you've got the right techniques, um, and whether you've got the right shape. Because um, you know, through when we put the team together, that's all in your head. Now we've got to make sure that you know that comes to fruition out on the pitch. This is a new look squad, but the backroom team, any really changes there? Um, well, no, there's no real changes. I mean, um, Aaron Downs now is in the blue kit, staff kit, uh, whereas all, all last year he was in the red kit, so now he's very much a part of our staff. Um, he, he'll still work with the, with the academy because he's been doing a great, great job with them, but he'll also be um, one of the first team coaches. So, you know, it'll be me, Russ, and Aaron. We're, we're, you know, We'll all be working with the first team, which is very important, by the way, because if he's going to transfer what we do with the first team into the academy teams, then he needs to play a big part in what we do. And uh, um, and obviously, he's 
retired now from playing, although he says that today, tomorrow he might change his mind. But um, and he'll it, it, be a very uh, important staff member now for for first team work. In terms of the schedule, it, it's flat out now, really, for the boys, isn't it? No, no weekends off for a little bit. It's, it no, is... there's no weekends off. Um, we'll, we'll have the odd Sunday off just to give them a little bit of a break and see their family, and, and then they'll come back ready for the next. A few runs, but um, and we've got games pretty quickly coming on, which is what I like. I like to get plenty of games in pre-season because that can be part of your training. Um, you don't rest leading up to these games; you keep working leading up, and then sometimes they they look a bit tired in the first few pre-season games because they've been working the day before as well. So, but that's how you get the you know the game legs, if you like, and. Uh, when we get to the Birmingham game, for instance, Birmingham game and Walsall game, that becomes very serious, and that you know they, they know that that's when it starts becoming very competitive. And just finally, a, a new look squad, so a new dynamic to the squad. But watching them this morning, they're all kind of pushing each other, and uh, I suppose when you're pulling them through pre-season, it, it brings them closer together. Well, it does. Um, sometimes in adversity, and the adversity is they're absolutely shattered after a few of the runs. And, you see the leaders because they pick the others up. You see the ones that need leading because they're normally at the back. Um, and you just get the character of the group really, which is nice. I mean, don't forget some of these I've worked with before anyway. Um, for instance, you look at Toes and Dawson, you know, they were teammates um, previously. A lot of them know of each other anyway. And I've just seen straight away um, how, because we brought in some good characters and good personalities you can see the bonding pretty quick at the minute after the first big run they've had now this is a big run they're going to have now i don't know if they've started yet they're behind me but um you know ian's putting them through their places out there and uh then you'll see the camaraderie at the end and during this race that's going to happen now it's 1400 meters and it, it takes a bit it takes a bit out of them when it's their first day but anyway they can look forward to a little bit of football this afternoon Enjoy your first day. <laughs> Thanks a lot.